Welcome, this is 4 Minute Friday. You've all had a great day off work. I've been spoiled this weekend to a four day weekend. I'm going to get straight into the questions that some of you guys have asked. I've got four minutes, so let's get four minutes on the clock. Hi, Jeremy. Do you ever use feeder coats? Yes, I do. A lot of people probably aren't aware of feeder coats. They're basically sleeves that are designed to go on the outside of our horizon feeders. It just kind of turns them into a solid feeder as opposed to a cage feeder. So, yes, I use them quite frequently, especially in deep water. Do you ever carry extra batteries during a match for your cameras? No, I don't. No, the, the GoPro sessions that I use, I think they can constantly run for up to about three and a half hours, I think it is. That's a constant run. So obviously I've got two of those with me um, and that covers a match easily. What type of feeder would you use in 20 feet of water? I like to use plastic feeders or solid feeders in that sort of depth, I've got to admit. I generally kick off in 20 feet of water with a, with a solid feeder and that's just basically because I want to con concentrate all the feed on the bottom and just take it from there. If I find the fish up in the water or I, you know, I want to try and create something different if it's not working, then I will change to a cage feeder or a different type of feeder. Can you tell us what a casting mat is? For anybody that wants to know what a casting mat is, they've used them for years and years and years. I don't use them very often. Basically, it's a mat or a sheet that you put down behind you. It, it covers up any, any sort of hindrance to your hook length or your rig when you put the rod back for the cast. You know, it, it could be long grass, it could be branches, it could be a wall, as in the Iberian Masters. You know, a lot of you have seen that video now. It just basically masks any sort of hindrance to your hook length. You know, it can stop crack offs and all that sort of stuff when you're actually lowering your rig behind you, you know, if there's any sort of hazard there. It just falls away into your kit. Will you do any videos? fishing for commercial carp yes I will I mean obviously you know I fish Barston quite frequently um, at least once every couple of months I tend to be at Barston and that's obviously commercial carp but yes if I get a free day I'll go out and just I want to do more f fishing type films and that is certainly one that's on the list how many hooks do you carry on each spool in the new hook length box I don't have more than 10 on there there are loads of spools in there I think it's 24 spools if you count both sides and so you can get loads and loads of hook lengths on there I don't use a massive amount of or a different array of, of hook length patterns so that's not really a big issue so I don't have more than 10 on each spool will you be at the big one this year a little bit late this one I'm sorry no I wasn't at the big one I've only just got around to these questions I do apologize so no I wasn't at the big one would you ever consider using an Aquas 5000 reel on a 10 foot rod? I wouldn't know, a 5000 reel on a 10 foot rod is too big for me, you know, a 10 foot rod, the 4000 is, is right or smaller. Do you find that when using a shot leader it takes away the sensitivity of the rig? Yes, of course it does, you're putting a bit of, a bit of stretch into that rig, into that, you know, setup. Obviously with braid, time up. Obviously with braid there's no stretch there or anything, so you, by introducing a leader, it just obviously creates a bit of sponginess there if you want and that's how you can lose some of the sensitivity so yes you know sometimes you might not want that and that's why I've been experimenting more fishing braid straight through so you're not losing that sensitivity and you know other times you want that sensitivity especially if you're catching you know big fish close in or you're fishing for bream on a short line like I tend to do on a lot of the venues I fish so you want uh, that little bit of a little bit of a cushion there that little bit of, you know sponginess if you want to call it that, that stretchiness in that rig that's it time's up i've only just run over have a fantastic weekend thanks for watching tonight i'll do more of these just comment below if you want me to keep doing them if you've enjoyed and like videos like this please click like please share and subscribe if you haven't done already either click the icon down there or wait for the button 
at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully I'll see some of you on the bank and um, yeah, let's make the most of a weekend off work. So thanks for watching, have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you in a couple of days.